We are at one of the fanciest fruit stands in the Sacramento Valley. I'm at Tony's fruit stand in Marysville. This is not Tony, this is Matt Stevenson, and he is gonna explain where we are and what it's about. Welcome, hello. We are um, eight miles north of Marysville on Highway 70. Tell me how you acquired Tony's fruit stand and what you've done in the past few years. We bought the fruit stand from the Lava Barra family. Um, there was a Tony Sr. and a Tony Jr and um, they were the original owners and once we acquired it we thought hey it's got a great name and a great reputation so we just rolled with it so it was easier to change my name than it was to change the business name you have a long peach season here at tony's yes. fruit stand yes we do we have a long peach season um, depending on weather we usually pick around the first or second week of may and that usually runs until the third week in September. We, we'll have different varieties coming on um, periodically. Usually we'll pick something uh, once a week from that period between May and September. And your peach trees are right here on the property? Correct, yeah. And you have a lot of different varieties. We do, we do. We have a lot of different varieties. There's a total of 39 varieties um, on the property, uh, mostly consisting of peaches, but we do have white nectarines, yellow nectarines, blue watts. Tony's fruit stand is very well known. Your wife, Julie, was telling me about people that drive from all over to get your peaches. That's true, that's true. We do have people that come, Monterey, um, Santa Rosa, they'll call ahead, hey, is this certain variety ready to go? And, uh, you know, I'm coming up and I need 25 boxes or, you know, whatever the quantity is that they're looking for, but they do, they travel quite a ways. What is it like to do business and to work in ag in the Sacramento Valley? I think it's wonderful. Um, my, my family history is agriculture and I had the opportunity um, to purchase the fruit stand and get myself back into agriculture and it's, it's something, it's a labor of love, but it, it, it's the best decision I've ever made is in, in a professional sense.